Hi guys and welcome to the Reapers. My name is Kingston and I hope you're all doing very well. Cap has asked me to put this short video together and I hope it helps you out um, with the deactivation of uh, user keys. Most keys now are the F-18, the F-14 and such as the like in a lot of the campaigns. They have um, keyless systems which means you don't have to activate or deactivate, it's all done automatically. However, some of the older stuff such as the A-10C, the Black Shark and the MiG-21 amongst others all have used a company called Starforce to provide their activation keys and every now and then particularly on the Steam variants they tend to go a bit manic and pretend that you've never ever used them before um, I don't know what causes it, it usually it detects a hardware change um, but you might never have done anything and it will still come up um, this tends to be um, a form of registry issue um, that I can only seem to fix by using these tools here. So what I'll do is when you're met with this, you need to make a vote of these two and you need to go to the proactive website which is this one here and you copy and paste those two there into here and you need to make sure you do this before you hit OK because if you don't what will happen is, is it will deactivate it before it's removed it from your registry and it will count against you. So once you've got all that set up don't press anything Go to this here, which is the Combat Simulator website itself. Um, I'll make Cap put the link in the description for you so you can find it easily. Um, select the one that you're having the issue with. So if we pick the Sabre as an example, you can click on it, run it. It'll prompt you to edit it. As soon as you hit yes, it will wipe any trace of that uh, activation from your registry so your computer will be as if you've never ever downloaded the module before and you need to make sure you do that because if you don't it will corrupt again the next time you try and do it then you can go back to this website click deactivate oh sorry wrong thing yeah copy and paste them into there deactivate it and it will go back onto your account as an unused key you can then go back to this bit here for dcs and you can re-register it Okay, and that's pretty much it. Um, I would bookmark this if you're having issues. The website doesn't seem to go anywhere, and it also works for any of the campaigns. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you soon.